The Financial Crisis Part 2 is upon us. Today I want to do a little bit of a different video and just go off the cuff. I don't have a particular agenda or any topics necessarily other than I want to discuss the Financial Crisis Part 2. So let's see where this goes. A lot of people have requested this type of video completely separate from the other videos. What I've determined over the years of research is that the entire financial system is extremely weak. It's volatile, it's fragile. And we've seen that with the flash crash from 2010, how these computer algorithms can trigger a thousand point drop in a matter of seconds. I just did a video yesterday about Venezuela showing how in a matter of one day, the price of oil had gone up many fold. And what this leads me to believe is that eventually we're going to have chaos and it's not going to happen slow. It's going to happen very fast. So when I see the same problems from 2008 occurring again today, or perhaps not even 2008, but leading up into 2008, let's say 2006, 2007, I see the same thing happening again and it, it worries me. I talk to people in the financial industry, I talk to others, just you know, individuals who have their pension funds and their investments, and they're not concerned. In fact, they're hopeful for the future and are pouring in more money now than ever before. They have no savings because they believe that their home, at least here in Toronto, their home prices will continue to appreciate forever. It, it's such a foolish idea. And so for these reasons and so many more, I believe we're going to realize that right now is already the beginning of what they'll term in the future at some point a recession. But of course, we know it's much worse than that. One of the issues I have is that we have a fractional reserve banking scheme. That right there, it's a huge problem. And when you allow bankers to go beyond even the money that you give them, so that's your money being put into the banking system, hopefully you would hope that if you went, you'd get it back. But it goes far beyond that. They take the money and they loan it out, let's say about 10 times the value that they should. When they create these type of schemes, they multiply even those. And we know what this entails. We know that they've been able to create derivatives. They use collateralized debt obligations, they use credit default swaps, and they gamble. What happens when they gamble too much? Well, we have something that occurs like the financial crisis. Right now, we've seen the regulations actually being relaxed. The laws that are put into place don't support you and I. They support those in the banking industry, the financial industry. You voted that party that's why we're in this mess. Or our current regime, that's why we're in this current mess. But that's not the case. Big corporations, primarily those in the finance industry, control the politicians. So you're not voting in a politician, you're voting in a corporation. JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Barclays, Citi, and all of the other banking, big banking establishments are the ones who control the system, at least at this level here. When I hear people talking about politicians and politics, it's great entertainment, but it's not real. So let's get serious for a moment as we talk about the solutions. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go out there, you're gonna protest, you're gonna go out there and riot. Is that what you're gonna do? That doesn't solve much. In most cases, it doesn't do anything. So let's 
talk about what we can do to actually make a difference. That's what I'm looking at. That's what the money G GPS is really about. The number one thing you have to do is protect yourself, protect your family, protect those around you in a way that is reasonable. So one example would be to take your money and pull it out of the banking system, your savings. If you have money in this, in this banking system, you're literally funding their schemes. They're controlling the politicians and you bankroll them. Take your money out and put it into real assets. This is the absolute easiest thing you can do in order to attack them, not physically, but actually provide enhanced safety for you and your family. What type of real assets? A lot of people say you have to own precious metals, 100% precious, precious metals. I don't agree with that. Precious metals though, I do agree, they're important, but it's part of a wider scheme. Have some precious metals. What kinds? Every single kind. That's what you need to own. Think about this. You have money that you, perhaps some savings, what do you do with it? buy real assets. One of those real assets that doesn't get discussed often enough is solar panels. Get solar panels because they can provide you with power. What does that mean? You no longer need as much money per month. Your living expenses go down dramatically. Another thing that you can do is grow a garden. Many people don't have the ability to grow a garden because they have a confined space, perhaps they live in a condo or what have you. If that's the case, you can always grow sprouts indoors. This is important to know. We need to, even if it's just a few dollars a month, we need to basically shrink our expenses down. This minimizes our dependence on the system. So those are two very important things that I recommend to everybody to do. Grow a garden and get solar panels. Well, where are you gonna get the solar panel, the money for the solar panels? A lot of cities or provinces or states or countries have incentive programs, tax rebates. Get on the tax rebate programs. Look it up, type in the name of your city or the name of your state or province, and then type in solar panels. And often you'll find that they do have tax rebate programs that you can get on to actually make your money back on it. It's pretty interesting. I definitely recommend it. These are the things that I believe everyone should at least look into. Growing a garden only costs a few pennies. In fact, as you're eating the food, you could throw the seeds into the backyard, throw them in some potting soil, and you can have free food. This is a way that people can really attack the system in a way that's not violent, but in a way that's actually beneficial to you and your family. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like some more off the cuff type videos interspersed here and there, I'm looking for your advice, looking for your feedback. Uh, you know, I, I really wanna do all different types of videos, get into educating the system, educating the public, through these type of videos, through the e-course type of videos, through my book, The Money GPS, and as well as my new book that's coming out. So I hope you will check those out. Take care.